All right, today I'm gonna to show you a full walkthrough beginning to end on how to uh, import the easy multiplayer in Vector uh, Suite. So the first thing we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna import uh, in Vector. So here I'm gonna import the shooter template um, and just keep that in mind as I am going to be importing things in terms of the shooter template. Um, and then I'm also going to be importing a series of add-ons as well. Okay, with that imported, um, we got to import the uh, project settings. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the uh, add-ons that I want. So I have a series of add-ons that uh, I have purchased from their Selfie store. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and download all of these and I'm going to import them into my project. With them downloaded, let's go ahead and import them. So one thing to note here is, uh, since I purchased Free Climb from the Selfie store, this comes with the animations baked into the package itself. If you purchase this from the Unity Asset store, you'll need to download and set up those animations manually. And they have docu documentation uh, in this scene that tells you how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and import the rest. And now import the uh, EMI packages. Okay, so here's a series of uh, EMI packages that you can import. And now I definitely don't want to import the basic or the, or the melee. I, I definitely want to do things uh, in order. And the very first thing is to import... Uh, the appropriate base package first and a base package um, consists of basic uh, melee or shooter and since i'm using the shooter in vector template i need to use the shooter emi package uh, if you fail to import the right one it will not convert your your character correctly it will be missing components And you'll also notice that in this video, I uh, have imported the swimming, the zip line, and the free climb add-ons. So I'll go ahead and import those into my project. Opened up this main window and uh, here I don't have mirror in my project. Um, the EMI package requires mirror. So let's go ahead and download this. And this will download the most recent, uh, well, let me back up. This will download the last version that the EMI package has been tested and built with. So let's go ahead and download this. And this will actually open this up to a new window that will take you to um, Mirror's GitHub page. So we want this uh, package here. So let's go ahead and download this. And I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again. So with that, Let's go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and import mirror into our project. I made a slight mistake here in that um, I should not be importing my add-ons until I have finished setting up my project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that add-on there. With that, everything's happy, right? So now let's go ahead and uh, set up the project and then we can import the rest of those add-ons. So the very first thing to do is, um, you, there's more YouTube tutorials. I mean, you're on YouTube already, but uh, there's the documentation website that is going to be very valuable to you. It has a lot of helpful code and text-based walkthroughs here. So be sure to read that. Um, if you need further help, and of course you need more help than that, there's always Discord. But let's get started by saying convert in vector scripts.
yeah, I have no idea why that took so long the first time. So I just closed down the editor and opened it back up and it solved the problem. So if you have that issue where it's sitting there for a minute, um, just close down the editor and rerun the converted vector scripts. So I, I just clicked out of Unity. I'm clicking back in. And that's going to force Unity to recompile all the physical code changes that have been applied to the Invector scripts. Um, we just have to wait. Okay, so let's finish compiling. So now let's go ahead and import the packages. <laughs> So that import packages is, is kind of uh, tricky in that under the hood, based on the package that you've selected, it will uh, import all of these, you know, the shooter, uh, the melee, and the basic. And so my project is now set up. It has the scripts needed for my add-ons to work. So let's go ahead and import those add-ons. my base packages here um, with some Invector add-ons uh, imported. And if I wanted some additional um, UI elements, um, I could import the UI here. And that includes things like player name bars, announcers. Um, uh, there's kind of a lot in here. Um, uh, lobby systems, server join systems. Um, it's kind of all in there. Um, but for the sake of this import video, this should be good enough. Um, and then for each of these, you know, the basic, any of these add-ons, the melee, the shooter, I include pre-built scenes for you. Um, so here, uh, main scene should always be first. And the example scene should always be second. So let's go ahead to build settings. Let's say um, add open scenes here. And let's comment those out because the main free climb should always be first and your example scene should always be second. Um, but now you should be ready to go. We can start this up and you'll notice there's a server client. This will only work in the editor. If I try to build this and then um, use this on a client, it's actually not going to work because I have to first enable host mode. So um, after you know I've, I've done the conversion, the import, this new open settings window is here and I can simply click enable host mode, click out of Unity, back into Unity and let the scripts compile because what this is doing under the hood is it is actually physically modifying my scripts and um, it's actually removing some protection for you. Um, so there's some bad things there, um, but uh, it's also enabling the, the ability to physically build server code into the client build. Um, what this normally does when uh, host mode is disabled is it has decompilation protection enabled, which means uh, server code is not physically built into the client code. Um, so when you hand this game out to um, other people and they try to decompile it down to the raw source code, server code is not physically built into it, which means it's going to be very hard for them to build exploits for your game. Uh, but when you enable host mode, server code is physically built into the client, which means a, an, an end user or a client is able to decompile your game down to the raw source code and actually see all of the uh, server code. Um, for this example, I am going to enable host mode, which will allow server and client to run properly. And, you know, just for sanity's sake, we're gonna say start server client. We see it works great. And we see that you know my client is moved over to the correct scene. So with all that, let's just do one last check here and say my main scene is at index zero and then my other scenes are not. So let's go ahead and build and run. And if you wanted to just build a server, you'd click server build. But uh, I wanna build another client, so I'm not going to tick server build. So let's say build and run and save it in this location and let's wait. 
So I actually want to, I can do start server client here if I want to, but I actually want to um, run my server on Unity as well. Um, it's just for consistency's sake. There's no real reason to it. Okay, so I have my client connected. I have my server started in Unity. Let's join my server that's in Unity. And here we are. We are running around. Um, and let's, let's see if climbing works. Yep, it works out great. So now you can kind of do the exact same thing in anything else. So if I wanted to test out a shooter scene, I have one for no inventory, inventory, and then various uh, example scenes set up for inventory and no inventory. And the same goes for all of these other directories as well. So feel free to look through that. As a final note, if you are following this uh, um, example um, import process with this exact version of Mirror, I did have to open up a GitHub issue because their Mirror code was broken. Uh, so if you wanted to apply a manual fix, it's in the uh, scene interest management uh, and just comment out server callback. And um, because if I, for example, if I leave this back in, we can see that error come into play. So let's compile that real quick here. And this has to do with this component right here. Uh, this component of theirs is broken in this version of mirror, but it's a very easy fix. So let's click, click start server and client and we'll see this error in play here. And uh, like I said, you could solve this error simply by commenting out this line in um, the interest management uh, file. So with that, hopefully that helps you get started. Um, uh, first of all, just looking at the example scenes and playing around with this project. If you have any other issues, feel free to review the uh, documentation. And if you have issues beyond that, uh, I always have a Discord help channel where I make further announcements.